my name is Salima from iHeartScraps.com, um, and um, it's a blog I had started which doesn't have anything yet on it, but I'm hoping that it will have um, this month. So this is um, a KennyKDownloads.com digi, and she's beautiful. So I blew her up here so that you guys could actually see her. And appreciate her. Now let me tell you why I like this digi. I like this digi because I get so tired of seeing the same um, cutesy little, I don't know, um, you know, I, I started out with a lot of magnolia stamps and um, don't get me wrong, I love my magnolias and I love my Anyas and, um, but I just feel like they're not adult. It, you always have to find the right way to use them. They're adorable, they're cute, I love them. But I kind of, when I started looking, scrolling through some of, um, Kenny K's downloads. I really love the fact that they were sophisticated. Um, some were a little naughty, some were nice, some were cutesy, but I really appreciated the variety. And this is my first Digi download I've ever dealt with and done. So I was kind of excited, but um, I really like her. I like the detail even in the chair. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that well, but in the pants, if you could see the detail, she's pretty decently proportioned. So they did an excellent job with her. Now, what I wanted, what I did was, and I was inspired, um, as soon as I saw her, I knew what picture I wanted to do it with. So, this picture is a vintage picture of me, and I love vintage clothing, I love vintage um, head, you know, hair pieces, I love vintage hair, I love vintage makeup, and although the picture, for the life of me, on MacBook, um, with the photo editor there, I really couldn't make it look better so what I'm gonna do is if I can re-edit the picture I'm just going to lay it right on top of my uh, down, um, my layout now here's the other thing I did now I put her on an actual tag now this is going to be my practice tag because the edges are cut off and I want to try something and um, so she's she's gonna be my practice tag and I have my real tag um, over here so I want to try a couple of things so the first thing I'm gonna do with her, I think, is I am going to, I would really, oh, and I wanted to show you a little bit more product. So I went to Michael's the other day. Um, I'm a, for now, I'm a stay-at-home mom of a nine-month-old, and he is the love of my life and joy, and I really needed some inspiration. So I went to Michael's, and I really fell in love with their canvas bowls, and then I saw these paper bowls, and they are lovely. And for some reason, they mimic the dots on my dress, so I'm gonna to try to employ them. And the colors are really off. They're not the same, but I, I think it'll be a nice contrast. And then I saw these, these are called um, canvas bows. Now, these are all from Recollections, and they were 40% off this half weekend. So I'm gonna tell you, when they have a 40% off, half, 40% uh, off sale, go for it. Because these weren't expensive to begin with, but then it gives you kind of a um, opportunity to be able to hey, get more things, right? What girl doesn't want more bows in her life? What girl doesn't want more embellishments? So I um, got these, and then I was looking through my stuff, and I was trying to figure out which papers to use, and I don't know about you guys, but I love basic gray. I've been into the Studio Calico kits lately, and um, I just wanted to, originally I wanted to figure out how I could use this gold um, paper, but I don't think that's, it's not gonna work out. I tried it in a little different way, so. I'm using some old basic gray sash. Um, I'll write down the names of this later. But I'm using this side. I kind of like this guy too. And just to give it a vintagey feel against the photo. And then I found some old ephemera. Also at Michael's I found these dollar, um, they were like a dollar fifty vintagey um, doily made um, rosettes. Now I have to show you the back of them because what they did was, which is ingenious, I'm going to try to copy one. Um, they cut the doily. I don't know if you can see, but they cut the doily. And then they created the rosette, which was phenomenal. Very nice touch. And then I liked um, this. This is from the Basic Gray Hello. It's from last year. But I like the film strip and the ephemera. And um, I got these little flowers from Michaels as well. And I'm going to show you that pack. Oh. I don't know where my pack, oh, here goes my pack, no. Well, my pack is missing for now, but I'll find that in a second. So I'm gonna use these little flowers and see where I can do with these. And I was also rather inspired 
Here goes a little pack of white flowers. Um, they were also 40% off from Recollections. I was also inspired by the Basic Gray Grand Bazaar. Little resin flowers, resin sticker flowers. See that rose, so I'm gonna try to incorporate that. So this is gonna be probably not a too inked up, highly um, product, heavy product um, layout. Probably gonna keep it more simple because I don't know if we look back at our picture, um, if I could find it. Yes, I am one of those messy scrapbookers. I'm sorry, I know some of you guys are extremely neat and I'm totally jealous, but I'm not one of those girls. I've tried, I've tried so hard. It just doesn't come easily to me. I don't know, I like the mess in a weird way. I, not that I prefer to work that way because I don't, but here goes the picture. So being that the picture um, is quite colored. You have that amber gold color there too. I really didn't want to do a lot to it. So um, this is what I'm going to try. So I'm going to speed you up and I'm probably going to put some music on and this is going to be my first time trying to do this. So please be gentle with me and um, let me know how I can get better because um, I really, really, really enjoy doing it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sample card and I'm going to throw some glue on there. And I don't have a craft space anymore, so this is as good as it gets for me. I'm going to use my fine line tip, though, to be able to get this done. And so I'm thinking of using the Martha Stewart fine glitters. I was thinking of using a little bit of this gold um, beading that I had from, oof, I couldn't even tell you from how long ago I have. But I really want to just pull out some gold on her shirt. Maybe her shirt and... I'm not gonna color this tag too much. I might do a little bit of distress ink to it, but that's about it, so. I'm do the bow, let me make sure I'm in focus here. This is my fine line tip. I don't know if you have gotten, you haven't gotten one of these yet, you have to. This has changed my life because I was getting tired of dealing with glossy accents. So one of the things while I'm doing this is that, um, one of the things that you can do to kind of help you is um, all I did with this is I printed it out on good quality um, cardstock because I'm going to use this image later. Thank you, Kenny um, Kenny K Downloads, because I'm going to use that again. So, um, and I fit my Manola tag. This is a Ranger tags, Manola tags. And I taped it with the blue painter's tape, which is why I messed up this little corner here. But I'm going to use the other one. I just want to test this out and see how the... How it's actually going to come out now the fine line tip is extremely extremely um thin so what i like to do is go off somewhere and just make sure it's running oh doesn't seem to be it doesn't seem to want to come out i may have to do a plan b on us real quick hmm. this is great on my camera you guys get to watch my failure hashtag epic fail all right. I don't like my crafting or my scrapbooking to get stressful, so if it's not gonna work, I'm just gonna do something else because once it starts getting stressful for me, guys, I'm not doing it anymore. Okay, now it's coming out. I, all I did was I went back and plugged it, um, unplugged it with a little needle applicator. So all I'm doing is I'm doing her hair. I'm gonna take this guy out. Oh, see, I even did it bigger. That was the side. Oh, I'm a genius. I just built that all over. Gosh darn it. Oh, I have another side. Excellent. Um, if you see here, you can see her much, much better. I just love the detail. He did such a great job. I don't know who his artists are or if he is. I really don't know much about the company, but I will be using them because it was easy to um, download. I want to do her headband. And then I want, so I'm going to do her headband in red. And I want to do her shoes definitely in red. Oh, this is excellent for the shoes. What a great idea to use the fine line for this because looks perfect for those little tight spaces. Now there's an 18 gauge and a 20 gauge. 
And this is the 20 gauge. So the higher um, you go, the higher in the size you go, the smaller the needle is. So I have to order the other one, but I'm in the process of moving. I don't know about you guys, if you've ever moved while you're um, a crafter and committed to something, it's really hard. You don't even know where we're moving yet, but. So I'm just gonna shape, I did the pink. Oh, cute. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna actually try to fill in. Oh, this is another reason why this is fantastic, because I could go back and add a little dollop right there to her headband. Right there. And her shoe. I actually don't want to add more to his shoe. Well, let me see. I'll add a little right there and here. Because I want the, the idea of the shoe, and if I cover it too much, I may not, I may not be able to get that idea. Okay, so there you go. All right, so you can see that. So, yep, I'm going to use it. This was my practice one. Now I'm going to try and see how the gold um, is going to look for her belt. gold beads. This I may go a little bit heavier on now. I did two pass-throughs with the um, fine line applicator. I have um, glossy accents in there. Um, my favorite is actually my favorite liquid um, glass or my favorite um, acrylic glue, the clear acrylic glue, actually comes from a new company called Fun Stamper's Journey. And um, I just really, really like it. Now these beads are going to get everywhere and I have a little one. So I'm going to have to be a tad bit careful here. Okay, so there goes her belt. Now I'm going to squish down her belt with my nail. Okay, very, very little. So I'm going to keep that. I wonder if I should have done her hair in gold, but I think it would have been too much. I'm actually manipulating this a little bit. Okay. So you get the idea that it's a belt. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distress the other tag. Well, I'm gonna distress this tag a little bit, but I'm gonna get rid of this. I'll be back right back. Because I want to give this a little bit of color without it being overwhelming, I'm actually going to use um, some distress markers. I want her hair. I want her to be a redhead. Don't ask me why. I have a fascination with redheads. I just, when I had my son, um, oh yeah, that's just a little hint of color. Oh, I didn't heat set this. Gosh darn it. I'm going to have to come back and do that. Yeah, let me go get that done right now. So hi guys, this is um, Salima from My Heart Scraps. Um, I, um, this is welcome to the um, August um, YouTube lay layout hop challenge. So I wanted to tell you guys what I did. So this um, download came from Kenny uh, Kenny K, let me see, K 
pennykdownloads.com and I loved it. I have to tell you, it printed really, really nicely, nice and crisp at edges. And so um, that should be in the first part of the video, but just to remind you guys, I took it and I printed it out on a tag. It was really, really easy. Um, and I can't stay away from clustering. It seems to be something that I do, but I wanted to um, not use up all the space, so I, I was debating if I was going to put a little banner there, but I decided to leave that empty, and I like that the photo frame. So the products I used, um, so I wanted to go with something. I used this. This came from Dollar Bin of Michaels. Um, it was a no brand. I used the resin flowers are from the Grand Bazaar line of... Uh, the Grand Bazaar line of Basic Gray. The paper is Basic Gray. Is this from Basic Gray or Studio Basic Gray? Um, these photo frames, these elements, they come from Hello from Basic Gray. These flowers are, the bows are re recollections. My jute is from Fun Stamper's ja um, Journey, and I like it because it's a little thinner. Um, if you want to know more about that, please message me because I am um, a consultant. Um, I use distress markers and distress um, inks on my tag. The white flowers were recollections as well. My saying was from the July circus kit from Studio Calico, and my white flowers as well came from recollections. And the bow, the little tiny bows, are two different color packages of the recollections bows. Um, my small letters here came from the Prima. Prima. So what I did was I printed out the tag, I added some glitter, did some distress ink, distress ink, and I did something different with this tag, which I really, really like. Um, I didn't do the color on there, I just did the outline, then picked up water from my mat, I put down color and picked it up from that, and just basic clustering. And um, the reason I like this picture is because this is the picture that I took, and this is what I did the night before going into surgery in January of 2015 and on the, 2014. Oh, I have to fix that. I'm so glad I said that out loud. Um, January 2014, and um, it was to figure out why um, I wasn't able to carry babies, and they found the problem, and it was a an actual um, 13... Well, a very, very, probably 20-year-old problem that I had had um, since I was a little girl. I had a problem, and I had surgery back then, and they corrected that, and I I was um, pregnant with my son two months later, and the reason I share that story is because I want to be an ambassador for women to know that, you know, to never give up on their dreams. And this picture, I'm really critical and very hard on myself, and so... Um, I like this picture, I like the vintage look, I like the flowers, and I wanted to kind of celebrate myself before going into surgery because I was going to be down for a while, for a few weeks, and I couldn't do anything, so I figured I would um, make myself look pretty for that night. Um, this is part of my story, um, please check out my blog in the next couple of months, it's still in process of being done. I appreciate you coming to check out my um, YouTube layout hop. Please make any comments. Let me know what you didn't like, what I should make better. Um, constructive criticism is always welcome, as I'm really, really new to this whole YouTube video layout thing. So the picture's not the best quality, but I'm going to see if I could just place one right over that. Um, hope to um, see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.